What's up, YouTube? It's Tayana Nicole, and I'm back with another video. Okay, I know, I know, it's been a minute. It's, it's been a minute in general, but it's been a minute since I did a Q&A. Yeah, let's get into it, let's get into it. I know the biggest question is where have I been? What's going on? What's this, what's that, what's new, what's old, what's in between, I understand. Cause a lot been going on in my life, it been like all over the place. And I was trying to get it figured out just like y'all. Y'all questioning me and I'm questioning myself. I'm confused too, <laughs> I'm mad too. Let me address, where have I been? Y'all, everywhere. Like just been, it been tossing me like just around. A lot been going on, a lot. Number one, my biggest goal I accomplished this year, I graduated. You know what I'm saying? I, I graduated, you know what I'm saying? I got my associates. I was real proud of myself because y'all, it was looking bad for me. It was looking bad. It was looking bad. But you know, I put it, I'm a, I'm, but look, it's me. Like, it's me. Y'all, I ended up getting hurt in January. And after I got hurt, I had a stress fracture in my shin from hooping. And you know, when you get strength, I mean, what is it? Shin splints. I kept playing on, I kept playing on, I kept playing on, I kept playing on. And eventually my leg cracked in the middle. And that just let me, like, I got real depressed. I didn't want to hoop no more. Like, I was just over it. I, school was stressing me out. It was just a lot going on. My car started messing up. You know, every time life you just low, your car just, it just joined in with the punches. So, I was going through a lot. I ain't gonna lie. Especially around May, like, the beginning of the year, I was going through a whole lot. I wasn't gonna be filming. I wasn't filming nothing. I didn't, I wasn't feeling anything. I didn't want to do nothing. Then, especially with finishing up college, I was so undecided on what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to do education. Everybody was like, they don't make you enough money and just all this stuff. It's like, bro, I'm really going to be 21. I'm going to graduate school. Like, it just felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders and I did not know what to do with it. Like, I was stressed. Like, I was stressed. Like, But I'm past that now. And then y'all seen when I vlogged my birthday, my 21st birthday when I was in Cali with my mom. Um, That was a really, like, eye-opening trip. Because, like, I seen a lot. I did a lot. I, mean, I was having a really good time. So, um, yeah, that really, it brought me kind of back to reality for a little bit. But then after that, I had came back home. My birthday was June. I came back, like, July 7th or 8th. Like, life had hit me again. Because, like, when I was on vacation, y'all, mind y'all, from the looks of it, it looked like I enjoyed my birthday for sure. But, like, I was just low. I was just in, a, like, a really bad place. Yeah, mentally, I was definitely in a bad spot. But, um, that was that. And then, once I got back home, I had to figure out, like, a job and, like, all this stuff. And I'm like, because I, I really was decided. I'm like, bro, should I go to a four-year or should I just, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I didn't want to go to no four year. And I was like, clueless, y'all. I was like, I don't know. Like, everyone would ask me, what's your major? What's your major? I'm like, girl, I'm just here. I'm just here. And I know a lot of people feel like me. They just don't be voicing it. Everybody act like they got their life together. Oh, this is my major. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. No, you're not. You don't even know what you want to do for real. You're just talking. You're just capping. You're trying to make stuff sound good. Me, I was honest. I'm like, bro, I don't know what I want to do. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And I didn't want to be put in a box. So I'm like, bro, like, I don't know. And uh, I was like, I just don't want to go to school just heck of undecided like that. So I didn't. And my dad and everybody was mad. Like, I was like I'm just going to take a year off and figure out what I want to do. So that's what I did. And do I regret it? No, absolutely not. For one, it's what I wanted to do. So um, I feel like it would have benefited me for sure. But at the same time, it wouldn't have benefited me if I didn't take the time to really figure out and sit with myself and figure out what I wanted to do, you know? So I did take a year off. I'm off right now, but I am working in the actual field that I want to work in, which is teaching. God blessed me with a classroom. Don't ask me how it happened. It just happened, y'all. I was subbing, and they just literally offered me the class. I do have my own classroom. I teach sixth grade. Like, it's everything that I thought it was going to be. Like, y'all, it don't feel like work. I don't teach the subjects that I want to, because I probably would teach PE if I really like, you know what I'm saying? So, um... That's that is what it is, but as far as my job, I love my job. Like I love my job. I love working with them kids every day. I love like them coming to me about their problems, like other than school or just talk to me. You know, they make my day, and I know that they make, I make theirs. 
So, um, yeah, I'm happy that I'm actually happy that I really took the time to really sit with myself and really like, you know, and it was a hard decision to make. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of back and forth. Like, you know what I'm saying? With myself, I'm like, man, is this the right decision? Like, I don't want to waste my time. But overall, it turned out well for me. So, um, yeah, I still am going back to school, though. Because, for one, I feel like I didn't really get to play my to my full potential with ball myself, you know? Being around kids every day and seeing how they look up to me and just knowing that I'm not done yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help them build their future. And I'm not even done with mine. You know what I'm saying? I'm just now getting started with my life. So, I mean, yeah, the kids really opened my eyes up a lot. So, I appreciate them for sure. After I finish up this year teaching, I'm going to go back and I'm probably going to get my uh, bachelor's in physical ed because that's what I think I really want to do. And I want to coach. I just had to get that out because I'm, I am know everybody was curious. But, yeah, so next year, probably in the fall, I'm going to go back to school, finish my degree. I might play ball. I might not. I'm undecided. I ain't really undecided. It's really if I put in the work. If I put in the work, I'm going to play. If I don't, now nah, I don't. But either way, I'm going back to school. So I just want to clear all that up off rip because I know it's like, where this girl been at? She ain't posted. She ain't posted. I wouldn't post on TikTok. I wouldn't post on Instagram, really, or nothing like that. So um, I just want to get all that out the way because I was really in a dark place. But I'm better now. Like, you know, I'm not one of the people who get in a dark space and stay there. So uh, that's what I do love about myself. Uh, I admire that because it was just like I was low. But I knew I was gonna come come back up. I just didn't know when. You know what I'm saying? I was down for a really long time, but I was just waiting. Like I know God got me. You know what I'm saying? I was just waiting. Like I'm just I'm being patient. Like I really had to be patient. He really taught me patience. Why? Because the job that I work now, I need so much patience dealing with kids. So now that I'm out of that season, I understood it. You know what I'm saying? Like you sometimes you gotta go through it, and when you come out, you understand it. So if you're going through it right now, just know. It's preparing you for something that you finna get in your life. I promise you. It don't make sense right now. You're like, bro, why am I going through all this stuff? Like, I just don't understand. That was just me. I swear on everything I love. That was just me. But I need so much patience dealing with these kids every single day. And God literally made me wait for months to, you know what I'm saying, get myself out together. Just know that whatever you're going through is for a reason. I promise. Uh, I put some stuff in my notes because... I've been getting off topic. I just get the rambling, so I had to make sure I stay on topic. You know what I'm saying? My main focus right now and where I am right now after all that stuff, like I just told y'all, I'm teaching right now, and I just want to stay focused on, like, my social media, all the stuff that I actually want to do. You know what I'm saying? Ball, gym, getting close to God, all that stuff. That's my, that's my only focus right now. I'm not worried about nothing else. My only focus is me and building myself up to who I'm meant to be. That's it. That's all. Literally. I want to accomplish a lot. Like, I got to get this together. I got to get this YouTube and this social media together and fast. Um, I also want to get into wigs. I've wanted to do that for a long time. If y'all don't know, if y'all don't have a clue, I've been a tomboy all my life. That's me. All my life, I've always been, like, real, like, I don't care about no nails. I don't care about no hair. Like, oh, I never cared about that type of stuff because... That's just who I was. Like, I just like sports. I've always been like that. Since, you know, I've been older, I've been getting more feminine. Like, you know, but it's fun because, like, it's my first time experiencing a lot of stuff that a lot of girls already did. Like, hair and wigs and nails and getting waxes and, like, you know, doing all that type of stuff. I've never done it before. So, it's all new to me. So, I'm really getting into my, like, more feminine side. And I really love that for me. Like, I really love that for me. Now, some stuff I want to address with y'all, some stuff that I heard, some stuff that came to my ear. This this is crazy, but we ain't even gonna worry about it. It say, "Am I pregnant?" I was going for a minute, but am I pregnant? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I almost cut my camera off. Don't ever play. I almost stopped the YouTube video. Now I have gained weight. My back is expanding. It is. I give y'all that. Yes, my face has got chunky. I understand that, but pregnant is actually insane. It's actually insane. No, I'm not pregnant, y'all. Right hand up, I promise. I don't even do those type of activities. Um, do I like the men, the, the, the women's or the men's? I love all y'all. That's all I got to say about that. Don't ask me no more. Don't ask me that one more time. I love all of y'all. Um, am I single? Listen, my private life is my private life. When I want y'all to know that, I will share that with y'all. If you don't know, Probably don't need to know when it's time for y'all to know or not know because I could be single, I could be in a relationship. You will never know why 
Because when it's time for you to know, you will know. I feel like keeping my private life private. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the biggest things I learned from one of the biggest YouTubers I've ever. I love Diara. She don't address nothing. She let y'all think whatever y'all want to think. And I admire that. So I think I'm going to be the same way. You know what I'm saying? Do I still play basketball? Girl, I ain't been in the gym in a year. I just told you my back was big. I just told you that. Am I going to get back to hooping? Absolutely. That's like one of my first loves before anything. Basketball was, it's my boo. We're going to get back to it when it's time to. I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. And this video going to be a little choppy because I don't have no storage on my phone. But I promised I was going to push a video out for y'all. So that's all I'm trying to do. So bear with me. Bear with me. Why did I want to become a teacher? To make an impact. Literally. For little girls that look like me. To believe in something and somebody. To be. To go beyond themselves. To go beyond their limits. To go beyond the expectations put on them. You get what I'm saying? Like you can be somebody. You can be exactly who you want to be. Not even just little girls. Little boys that look just like me. You can be somebody. You don't have to be dumb. You don't have to be in jail. You don't have to be dead. Reach your goals, reach your dreams, and chase them. And I want them to look back and be like, dang, Mr. Evans was my dog. Like, she let out for me. She picked me up when I needed to ride. When I didn't have no shoes and no clothes and no food, Miss Evans came through. It's more than teaching. It's making an impact. That's why. And also, that's why I made my channel because when people watch me, I want them to be inspired and see like a, nut, a young black woman doing something other than shaking her butt or like just doing anything for money because we see a lot of that. And I don't want no party. I don't do no drugs. I don't drink. I don't do none of that. I don't really club. I don't really party. And I'm not saying that people do that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I just want to give a different, you know what I'm saying? A different perspective. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all. That's really all I want to come on here and address. I know I've been slacking, but we back on it. Because we got to get to 1K for sure. Like, we, we wasting time. Yeah, I apologize for just going missing and popping back up and then going missing. I'm going to try to be more consistent for y'all. Because y'all deserve that. Oh, yeah. And if you was on my Instagram and you voted on the poll with, with Ty Nation, Ty Squad, or Ty Mafia, I made my choice. Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> we going to go with Ty Nation. Ty Nation is tough. That's what y'all new name is. If you don't know, now you know. Ty Nation, that's fly. That's what I'm rocking with. So, my subs... Y'all, it's Thai Nation. But that's it. I'm off here. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video because I'm going to be back with another one. And if you don't like this one, then how you going to watch the other one? If you don't want to watch the other one, then how you going to like this one? Then just like and share this video so you can you can be tuned in, okay? And follow my Instagram, too. Give me, yeah, I need 1K on there, too, because like, I'm at 600. I, I'm at five, 500. Let's get to 1K, please. That's all I got for y'all. I'm out, Ty Nation. I'll see y'all in the next video. Whoa.